Welcome to the World Karate Federation's live draw for the second Karate One Premier League of the season. The draw competition takes place in Mazinhos in the northern Porto district of Portugal. This season all Karate One Premier League tournaments will operate the round robin system. There are 32 places maximum per category and the rank of each athlete is based on their event position at the beginning of registration. You can see on the slide the athletes in their groups on the right hand of the screen. Athletes on the start list for the competition are divided into groups of eight with the top world ranked athletes competing seeded one to eight and group two athletes seeded nine to 16, group three 17 to 24 and finally group four 25 to 32. The top eight athletes are allocated a predetermined position based on their seeding in the eight pools and the same procedure is then applied to all remaining athletes competing but with their places allocated randomly across the pools. The bout order as you can see from the slide here number one would be the first seed versus the second seed number two, third seed, fourth, and so on across the categories. The top eight athletes from the round robin qualify for the quarterfinal stage of the competition. As you can see, they will start to make their way toward the medal banks, that all important part of the competition. So let's start the draw. Female Kata. As you will see from the screen now, the athletes will start to move across from the allotted areas highlighted in yellow as we go on to the screen. And already we see the top seed, Hikaru Uno, has taken her position. And each one of those positions will be taken by those eight top seeded athletes. The second group will then start to populate each of those pools in a random order. We have seen here in pool two, Fiona Frio against uh, Lao Mo Grace, an Olympian of course, and a fantastic athlete, Hikaru Uno, the top ranked athlete, the number two seed, and she's also the world silver medalist and Sakuro Kokomai, who's fifth place in the Olympic Games. We also have the world, uh, double world champion and the Olympic silver medalist in, of course, Kiyoshimizu of Japan. As we go through the round, we'll see the lower groups starting to populate and you can see here in group pool seven for example Jasmine Jutna who is one of the world conquering teams from Germany and in pool five the fantastic Ayakata player from Turkey Dilara Bozen and that completes the pool for the female kata and now on to the female minus 50 kilogram category this is Kimite and there we have the top seed Sarah Oslik and she goes into pool 8 Katarina Treiber in pool 6 and that fantastic fighter Patina Plunk uh, all of these are starting to move across the pool and starting to set the scene of how the competition will start to develop over the next three days here in Portugal's fantastic Algarve. Now as we go along the ranks we start to move into group 
number three. And these are the lower ranked players. And they are seeded, as we see now, number 18 and 19 seeds moving across. So on the right of the screen, there are the ranks and the Premier League positions. And at the moment, on the Premier League listing, you can see none of those players at the lower end of the pool have yet scored their Premier League points. And as the season starts to develop, we'll see those positions start to change. Chance now just to have a look at the female cubitate minus 50 kilogram category. The next category, the female minus 55. Now, in here, there are two crosses in pools three and pool seven. So the number of competitors overall in the category are 20. So they won't have those two pools utilized. All of the athletes will be then moved across to the remaining six pools. And as you see in pool Number eight there, Angelika Telyuga from the Ukraine. And she's in the same pool as Maya Chiera of Switzerland. We have a number of Olympians and athletes of world standard competing here in Portugal. This is the second of the Karate One Premier Leagues. First one, obviously, in Fujairah, in the United Arab Emirates. Yvette Goranova, pool number five. Each of these athletes looking to progress to the quarterfinals. So the next category in the female Kumite will be the minus 61 kilogram category. Once more, four pools, sorry, six pools, two of them, pools three and pool seven, not being used. And the top athletes, Anita Serogina, number one, and number two, Ayuma from Canada. Merv Chubin from Turkey. And Alexander Grande there in pool number five. These athletes have been performing well. And you see, for example, Let's have a look at Diana Shostak. And on the right of her numbers, you can see she's ranked number 19 and her Premier League position is number four. And she's seeded number 10. So that's how the screen starts to develop. In the Karate One Premier League, there are 12 individual categories. There's no teams there. That's Finished. So this is a completely individual tournament. Moving into the last and the top positions here being allocated. You see the top seeds are starting to move down and the lower ranked athletes coming up into those positions. So that completes the category. We move on to the female cubitate minus 68 kilogram. Once more, we only have six of the eight pools. And Arena Zaretska, an amazing fighter from Azerbaijan. She starts off in number one, pole position. If, for example, the world rank number one isn't in attendance here at the Karate One Premier League, then the world rank number two will be seeded number one in the tournament. And that's the way it kind of develops as you go through. Here, Elfmir. It's great to see Vasilika Anatsedu competing here again in pool number four. And she's in the same pool as Silvia Severero from Italy. So that's going to be quite a difficult competition in the round robin stages, at least for the minus 68 kilogram category. The 
the top. Eight of the athletes move through into the quarterfinal stages. So that's the top seed and then the highest ranked in second place to make sure that those eight positions are filled in the minus 68 kilogram category as we move on to the next part of the draw, which is the female kibite plus 68 kilogram. Top seed coming out is Belzeva. Sofia Belzeva takes her position in pool eight. As you see, second seed moves across and Meltem Okologlu of Turkey is in pool four. Torres Garcia from uh, Spain in pool two. And Dominika Patarova is in pool seven. So in this category, all eight pools are populated and the athletes will start to move across. Cleo Ferracuti of Italy, pool number six. Pretty hotly contested competition in this particular category. Saito Ayaka of Japan. Japan fielding quite a strong team here in Portugal. And that's across all divisions. The host country, Portugal, has a particular athlete in Patricia Espatero, who is the Portuguese champion, and she's actually the top-ranked athlete across all categories as we move away from the female division and into the male kata. First one up, that man from Spain, Damien Quintero. Damien Quintero, the world silver medalist, the Olympic silver medalist. And this, a category full of Olympians. You see Ali Sofologlu, one of the top athletes in the world. Ali Sofologlu was a bronze medalist in the Olympic Championships and Olympic Games. Damien Quintero, the silver medalist, I say. And Ariel Torres Gutierrez is also a bronze medalist. So this is going to be a fantastic competition in the male kata. Kazumasa Moto from Japan. Again, Japan being heavily represented here. Takachi Abe and Nishiyama. Takuro Takeru Nishiyama, pool seven. Matteo Vesato of Italy. He finished in seventh place in the Olympic Games. The last one to go in, Garcia Padrado. Completes the male Cata lineup. It's going to be an exciting competition as we move away from Cata and into the male Cubite. Minus 60 kilogram. Eli Sandan, the number one seed. Wait to see who comes up shortly because we have, again, a really high standard of athletes. Eli Sandan, the Olympic silver medalist. Angelo Crescenzo, also one of the favorites, Angelo Crescendo in the Olympics, but uh, not in among the medals. Pool number two there, which we see, El Bisbe, Kaiser El Bisbe. Once more, some of those top fighters will also have great representation there, again from Kazakhstan. Chabon Abdallah, as we start to move into group number three and the lower ranks of the ranked, world ranking number 67, number 65, coming out now. 
And we have seen on many occasions where the lower seeds have come through at the end of the day and taken some quite serious scalps. And this could be a competition where we see some upsets. We certainly had that in Fajira in the United Arab Emirates where many of the younger athletes came up from the junior ranks to suddenly make a big statement on the big stage. Bale Kubate minus 67. It's our next category. And during the Olympics, the minus 67 also took in some of those lighter weight athletes. And that man there, Stephen de Costa from France in Pool 8, the number one seed, the world champion, the Olympic champion. What a fantastic Olympic Games that man had, a, a superb ambassador for the sport of karate. Didar Amarili in pool number two. And Farouk Agur, once more, another one of the top fighters on show here in Portugal. Following the Olympics, we had the World Championships in Dubai. And what a World Championships that turned out, out to be. With some, again, some upsets of the athletes as we went through. Who's to say that some of these lower ranked fighters will turn the tables and come through at the end of the competition on Sunday when it closes. The male cubite minus 67 kilogram category. Once we get into the heavier weights, and the next one is without doubt one of the most hotly contested categories in the male division. And here we have another fantastic representative from the Ukraine, Stanislav Varuna. What an ambassador that man has been. Stanislav Varuna, the Olympic bronze medalist. And he was putting his medal up for auction to try and raise funds for the uh, situation that faces his country back home. Tintin Mahoudin, pool number five, another fighter who's been representative here in the Karate One Premier League this season. And another Olympian we see in pool number four, Thomas Scott from the United States. Thomas Scott finished in seventh place in the Olympic Games, but what a show he put on for everyone. He was an absolutely brilliant ambassador, once again, for the sport of karate. Herman Eltner, one of the top fighters from Turkey, again being heavily represented in this particular category. The male minus 75 kilogram has always been a difficult and one of the most hotly contested categories in all Kimite events. That's a chance to have a look at the pools and to wonder which of these athletes is going to make their way into the quarterfinals. Next up, male Kimite minus 84 kilogram. Another category with all the big boys. In the Olympics, it was a plus 75 kilogram category. So it took into consideration many of the, the top fighters over uh, in the under 70, under 84, and plus 84 kilogram categories. And here we have Brian Timmermans. Brian Timmermans is been performing particularly well. He's Premier League standing at the moment is 15th. I'm sure that can change as the season starts to unfold. Still got three more Premier Leagues to go after this one. So plenty of time for people to start changing positions. Abdullah Pana, the number one seed now in pool eight. 
really performing well. World rank number five is in Premier League position number five. Michel Martina, the number two seed, he's in pool four, sitting in eighth place in the Premier League standing. Is that going to change for him this weekend? We'll have to wait and see. That completes the draw for the male Kimite minus 84 division. Last but no means least in the official draw, the male Kimite plus 84 kilogram category. Two of the pools not being used, but the quality is still Olympic. Gogita Akania of Georgia, the number one seed, putting it out there as he always does. Angelo Kvesic, Angelo Kvesic, the brother of Ivan Kvesic, Ivan the Olympic, fifth placed the Olympian, and Rob Timmermans is in there in pool number six. Full rank number 11 and Premier League position is number four. Tarek Hamidi. Tarek Hamidi. Well, what can we say about that man? Olympic silver medalist. An absolutely amazing competition he had. He also won the Olympic qualifying tournament. Tarek Hamidi in pool one. He's currently sitting in 15th position in the world ranking. But there are no doubt many twists and turns that are going to occur over the next three days in this, the second Karate One Premier League of the season. This completes the draw for the competition and a chance to wish all of the athletes the very best of luck.